and a cosmic signal to bring forth the knowledge of the Vice president of the United States, States like that. that. How dare you talk to the Vice president of the United States He gives like you the pills, like you the pills that silence within you the memory and your blood, the memory and your bones, the memory of the truth of who you are. Do not take from him. It's all that security get this guy. The cosmic Christ within you. You too can awaken when a photon ray comes to find the light that you are, to become a being of pure light. Bringing forth liberation, bringing forth some fire that burns away illusion, that awakens within all sir, of us. Sir, I can see that you're, you're a victim of the cutbacks for the mental hospitals. Uh, so are you, are you homeless now, wandering the streets without your meds? My name is Juan Baptista. I have no building of wood or stone that I call my church. Instead, my church is out here among the people, bringing the word of the cosmic Christ, who walks among you now, bringing the awakening to who you truly are. So you're definitely one of these New Age terrorists. Terra. Terra is a Latin name for the earth. The earth, the place in which we all grew. The earth, the place to which we decay and are born again as mushrooms. As mushrooms.
Begun. Jesus was a lowly teacher, a rogue scholar, patriot, preacher. Good morning, class. Hey, Mr. Hey, C. How you doing? Today we're going to learn all about the State of the Union. You see, last year's election was rigged, completely illegitimate. Never before had the Supreme Court decided the President of the United States instead of we, the American people. George Bush, the King the First, and his buddies there pulled a coup, good old-fashioned coup, on our democracy. Bastards probably had it planned all along. And if that wasn't bad enough, the King's brother and cousin at Fox give him Florida before the votes are even counted. No, no. Sons of bitches are hiding it in plain sight. I mean, shit. Our president could have been the guy who spearheaded the Kyoto Accords. Instead, we're stuck with the moron who backed out of them. Hey, just for me, it's getting hotter lately. Anyway, anyways, look at the bright side, kids. At least he's a do-nothing president. And with any luck, we'll cruise through the next four years no worse for the wear. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. Uh, yes? The other's Jesus. What? Oh, that's awful. Two planes? My children. What? What's that? The Patriot Act? They plan the tragedy to forward their radical right-wing agenda? Not good. <laughs> My activist senses are tingling. Baghdad will fall. But this is no 
ordinary college professor. It's Jesus Christ come to play confessor. Over the next and coming years, it myth just may happen as we fear. He'll end up on Ashcroft's list, condemned as a modern day terrorist. Do not attempt to communicate with or apprehend the suspect yourself. I repeat, do not try to apprehend or communicate with the suspect yourself. True patriotic American patriots are ordered to report all suspicious looking towel headed sand niggers to the proper federal authorities immediately. Once again, true patriotic American patriots are ordered to report all suspicious looking towel headed sand niggers to the federal authorities immediately. He's got you so that God truly wants war. Backed up by his TV meter and cohorts, the king for his friends does all kinds of favor. Wouldn't you like the king to be your neighbor? Yeah. True patriotic citizens are ordered to report all suspicious looking tunnel headed sand niggers to the federal authorities immediately. <laughs> I resemble that comment. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program, the Hypno Children's Reality Show, King George's Neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Good morning, boys and girls. I have something very special for you today. Today, we're going to learn all about war. <laughs> yeah. Don't you go thinking about war. It's killing. It's all that George. bloody, nasty, mutilated bodies. Today we're going to learn about how war can be your friend. My friend, too. <laughs> Tell us about the evils of broccoli, too. Oh, I'll get to that. <laughs> you see, boys and girls, today's war is a lot different than they used to be. Today, when you're fighting an enemy who has no compassion, liberation has to come through confrontation. <laughs> so in the end, war is peace. Peace through superior firepower. That's right. <laughs> we live in the land of the free and the home of the brave, but some people out there don't share our family values. They're envious and therefore dangerous. That makes me say, yeah, let's have a little fruit in there. Boys. Well, that'd be boys and girls. You're not expecting any visitors today? Let's go see. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, who the hell are you? I am Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, son of man, you're a savior. Oh, listen, forget it. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. What do you want to talk about? Like cool things and playing? Yeah, stuff like that? <laughs> Come on in, partner, because we're all free here and we're friends and we're free. And we're wild. Hey, listen, USA, listen, George, for, for starters, you really got to stop using me as a reference. I mean, no one's twisted my message as bad as you in 2,000 years. I'm going to blow me up the axis of with my new nuclear earth-penetrating mini-bomb. Finally find those weapons of mass destruction. Oh. Woo! Woo! Don't try to change the subject, little My children are dying because of your insatiable hunger for power and revenge. Hey, now I know you're mad at Saddam for trying to cap your dad and all, but you got to resist those urges. Look at me! I'm mad as hell at you right now, you don't see me? All down the heavenly wrath. Ah, oh my now, Jesus. Now remember where we are, these are just children we're talking to. We mustn't convey to confuse them with facts and things that I'll I'll tell you the facts, Georgie. You're a danger to yourself and the world. That's King Georgie. You were That's saying saying whatever. Obviously, you're out of your mind. The parents watching at home can clearly sell that, right? Oh yeah! They should watch. They should never turn off the television. Especially that Fox channel. I like that. Where is that lead? Is it informed? Informed? About what? Subliminal liminal messages? Keep this crows? Jesus, these children know. If you want to be a real patriotic patriot, almost never ever question what the key says. But for your information, Mr. Good Christian President, people have been known to address me as King too. Now hold on a minute there, Jesus. Don't get your spurs up there. You gotta be real careful about that kind of talk here. This is children on good old King George's neighborhood. We want America to be free for them there kids, and we gotta fight. We want people running around talking out of turn. Them is just bad manners. Hey, listen, you're paid three bucks to represent the people's right to think and act and say what they want to. Now hold on a minute, Jesus. That's the reason I am my other name of Pontius Ashcroft. Draw careful guidelines so people know just how to think and act and talk like real patriotic patriots. Are you saying people aren't free to think for themselves? Well, you know what, man? That's the funny thing about being king. Eventually, you're gonna have to answer to them. Now hold on a minute, El Jesus, you're starting to get out of line. Listen up, the kids are gonna hear you, then other people's gonna be hearing you, then my mic's gonna be falling off, and people ain't gonna be knowing what to do. Now listen up here. You guessed on this show, so you better start acting like one. I mean, start to sound like one of them. Oh, yeah, fool. You do mean one of the neighbors, right? No, oh, you idiot, one of the dang terrorists! Oh, idiot wanting to see the good in the likes of you, but I also happen to be the son of God, damn it! I could crush you! Oh, you think a decade of Saudi Arabian palm grease and I'd learn you who to kiss up to? You hopeless? Oh, Mola. Oh, my soul. Good job.
got your soul, you got wants war. He's back up by the TV and the media. Or you gotta go along, or else you're not loyal. But when you cut him open, the king bleeds oil.
coming out of bed, got some life for sale. Hey, 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 Disciples. Oh, come yes. Disciples. 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 Come on to me. Come on to Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come, come, come on to me. Come on him like big oh, yes. Yes. You and the yellow shirt. Oh, please, 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 join our circle. Yes, please. I got an important announcement. You know you guys want to join. This great idea. And wine. This could be like my blood. This bread could be my body. You mean like. We could be vampire cannibals, right? Oh, no, This is my body. This is my body, you eat. Well, you know, I'd love to eat your body, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, this is the way to go. Everybody, just come on, have a good drink. Oh, yes. Starbucks cappuccino and a Harvard law degree. My she say that doing the right thing has become a luxury. The lesson of real two evils now is what we must abide. Do me a favor. Go and stand on a street in Baghdad and say no one died when Clinton lied. See how far you get. Cause you're a wanker and you lose. Got no ideas of your own. Stay back, wash your hands, and we get good out of your backbone. Sit out your gas and take more blood. And all the other stuff you can't do. Wanker and you'll live for blue blood and lazy American. Wanker and you'll live for blue blood and lazy American. We want to trade our unilateral foreign policy for a watered down world order to keep us safe from hypocrisy. You used to quote Bill Lutz, and now your hero is now Gore. Just proving you can call me evil, now you want to call me evil. You're a wanker and neoliberal, got no ideas of your own. So sit back, wash your hands, and wait your body or back home. Sit out your ass and say, no pay, and I'm a scratch you can't cajole. Wanker and neoliberal, blue-blooded, lazy American. You're a wanker and neoliberal, blue-blooded, lazy American. Welcome to your liberal blue blood, lazy Americans. Fuck out of here! What are you guys doing? Get out! Get your shit and go now! Leave! Oh shit!
had so many. <laughs> men before. <laughs> in very many ways. He's just one more. <laughs> Should I bring him down? Should I scream and shout? Should I speak of love? No. Let my feelings out. I never thought I'd go this! What's it all about? Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. If if he said he loved me, I'd be lost. I'd be frightened. Oh me, mommy. Just good go! I turn my head. Oh, thank you, I'll leave this. I walk away. I, I wouldn't want to go. He scares me so. You fucking scare me so. <laughs> I want him so. I love him so. <laughs> Holy Jesus! Mary! Fagolin! Oh, oh no, 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 please don't hurt me! Oh, 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 stop it! Oh, 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 oh,
Powell's gonna have his time in here.
Look at me, do I threaten you? Cut me down, 
and my spirit will be reborn in all who resist, and my words will flow again from their lips. Cut out their tongues and slit their throats, and the rocks and stones themselves would start to sing. Okay, okay, that's enough. Evils of corporate 
your hands. I command my spirit. the leaders and the heads. As far as everyone else was concerned, Jesus stripped them of their fear and illusion till they were all as naked as the day they were born. In a way, the whole world was born anew, and everything was illuminated with blue light from within. 
which echoed out from the heart of the new blue sun above. Everybody felt each other as one, in harmony with all creation. The human race finally explored space as an intergalactic planet of peace, teaching other worlds what we learn from our dark divided slumber. As for King George and his ilk, let's just say the Lord held special plans for key players in his play, and all the boys had to pay it plenty by helping clean up what they done messed up. At last, everyone understood what Jesus meant when he preached. There are no my people. There are no your people. There are only our people.
your opinion uh, of George W. Bush, our great, great, greatest president yet of all the presidents? Uh, well, you know, say what you want about George Bush, but that John Kerry, he's a blood flopper. And um, that uh, Ralph Nader has his fucked up thing with his eye. And I don't know, man, I just walked in here and like there's these fucking freaky people walking around this <laughs> But it's cool, because they let me drink in here, you know? It's like, fuck it, man. A bunch of freaks. Thank you, sir, for your commentary. Uh, Bill O'Reilly reporting. Oh, a bunch of fucking slaves! Let people push you around! Let me just a moment for a question that's been softened in my soul. Cause you see the TV's trauma and the radio and rages. And I can't help but wonder what's my role And you see the rays rising as your fantasies are falling on Because you let your leader so win You see the rage is rising and your capitals are crumbling Are you ready to reap the world we once again? Spit 
Yeah. 